What's up, world? Mike Scipione here, Sanu Chef. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a very quick and simple, very nutritious meal. We're going to make a sweet potato, apple pear hash with a little bit of red onion, some coriander, a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper, and an orange citrus seared piece of fluke, which is a very high end uh, of flounder. So we're going to start with two tablespoons of olive oil in a pan, and you're going to add in scorching pan, your already pre-diced sweet potato. Let that sweet potato go for a little bit. Just going to hit it with some salt and pepper, kosher salt, black pepper, and just let it sit. Maybe toss it around to coat everything with the oil, and just let it sit there a minute. Next thing we're going to do is dice our red onion. And now I'm starting out with sweet potatoes, um, cruciferous vegetable, also known as a lupa carbohydrate. Lupa carb is basically do the same thing that a lupa does, but only on the inside of your body. It's basically going to scrub the inside of your arteries, the fiber from it, and help lower cholesterol. It's a great low glycemic carb, and I suggest you add it to your diet if you can, uh, as opposed to white potatoes, which you're not going to go wrong with that either. But uh, sweet potatoes probably a little bit better for blood sugar levels, keeping them low. Next thing we're going to do is take one red apple, and you're going to slice around the core. And we're going to do another fine dice on that too. And now the red apple, we're going to add that. Different flavor, different way to go with the fruit. And you don't want to put that in the beginning because this is where your crunch and your texture is going to come from. So we're going to stick this in maybe the last two minutes of the cooking or so. And then we're do the same with the pear. I'm only going to use a half an apple because I'm actually only making one serving here. And then the same thing with the pear. And I'm using a Bosque pear. It's going to stand up a little bit better to the heat. It's not going to get as mushy as traditional pear would. I like leaving the skin on for the extra added fiber and a little bit of texture contrast. And again, that's going to go in right at the end. All right, while the sweet potatoes are going, you're going to finish this up. And I'm going to teach you how to season the fish. A really quick and simple way to do it. Um, again, for keeping everything very low fat, very healthy. And of course, you know what they say, you want to get lean. You're going to eat fish because it's basically composed of muscle and uh, basically composed of muscle and water. Muscle, as you all know, contains high levels of protein. And basically that's going to help you thin out and get lean without the extra added saturated fat from the steak or other red meats that you have out there. Okay, so that's done right there. Potatoes are going. They're getting a little bit crisp already, so you always want to add the onion in second. If you're going to put your onions in first or any of your uh, aromatics, what's going to happen, they contain a lot of water. You're not going to get a crisp sear on any of your potatoes or anything that you're trying to actually, you know, get hot or get it get crispy. On well, my second burner, I'm going to put another pan and we're going to start with the orange zest. Um, as you know, I, I'm very big on orange zest, helps lower cholesterol, any type of citrus zest at the same effect. I have statin drugs out there. Uh, maybe some, maybe a little bit less than others, but pretty much equivalent. Great thing to use to get flavor without the bitterness from any type of citrus fruit. And you're going to zest that right over the fluke. I'm going to show you this in a minute on a close up. Next, we're going to season it with a little bit of smoked paprika, coriander, cumin, and a tiny bit of cayenne pepper, just to give it a little bit more kick in there. So while my other pan's heating up, I'm going to add my red onion to the sweet potatoes. Let that go right in. And again, you want to get the other pan scorching hot. This way you get a really nice sear on that fish. I already patted my fish dry. If you're going to use a wet piece of fish in a pan, you're actually not going to get a sear. It's going to steam more than it is sear, and that's what you want. So you're going to do about a teaspoon or so of olive oil. Hot the pan, and when the pan's hot, oil starts to float around very loosely, which is really what you want. The hotter the pan, the less oil that's actually going to absorb into your food. It's going to, like I said, going to give it a sear and not get mushy and not absorb that extra fat. 
using an olive oil on a low-fat fish is something that you definitely want to do. Monounsaturated fats and oils are what are going to keep you fuller longer, especially if you're dieting down and trying to trim down. Okay, you probably use another two minutes or so. So that's the key. So don't be afraid of monounsaturated fats. I see a lot of people making salad dressings and they want to substitute water for oil. Don't do it. Leave the olive oil in there. If you like canola oil, you can go canola oil, grape seeds, and other low. Um, low fat oil, monounsaturated fat oil with very little bit of flavor. It's not actually going to ruin what you're trying to do is overpowering is olive oil. Sometimes olive oil is a little overpowering depending on what type of dressing that you're trying to make. All right, potatoes look like they're coming down already. And what I like to do next thing with the potatoes, um, since they're starting to move, I like to put a little bit of rub sage in there. And I also like the repeat flavors. So we're going to go right into the potatoes with some orange zest as well. And really kick that flavor profile off. And you want to repeat flavors and actually maybe throw a different one in there, a different kind of spice, just to change the, the palate so everything's not so one note. That's why I added the cayenne pepper, pepper over the fish. And another thing I want to do is just add a little bit of coriander there. It's earthy, it's citrusy. Let that go right in there along with the sage. Potatoes are already pretty much cooked. I'm going to go add your fruit now. You could also start this out with a turkey sausage base or any kind of uh, low fat meat. Uh, without the casing crumbled, a half a link will do just for some really nice texture in there. Now the fish is starting to get opaque around the outsides. I like to really get a crispness on the first side of the fish. So if you can see that, it's starting to get opaque around the sides, that camera kind of focus. You want to leave it so you see a little brownness on there. Once you do that, you're going to flip it over one time, and that's pretty much going to be it. My next thing that I like to do, I love arugula, that mustard taste. Mustard with sweet potatoes all goes together. Um, you do, most of the time, you do an arugula salad that has pears or apples in there. Arugula has basically the same benefits as Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and the very famous kale. Um, it's very high in dietary nitrates, also referred to as a Mizuno green, I'm sorry, a, um, a rocket green. And when you have a diet that's high in uh, a food that is high in dietary nitrates, it's going to help lower blood pressure. Pressure. You're going to consume less oxygen during exercise and actually going to help you increase your endurance. So I like to just wilt those right in for some texture. Just toss them around. Really more so going to wilt than anything. And a lot of times to make a sauce, most people like adding vinegar and things like that. I'm going to do glaze with actually the orange juice and plus those potatoes around a little bit more. Um, my fish is pretty much ready to be flipped. I'll let that fish go for another minute or so. Greens are almost coming down. Sweet potatoes are already cooked. Always cook on a high flame. It's going to take you a lot less cook time. And your food isn't going to steam. It's actually going to cook when you use a high flame. Just going to take these potatoes down a little bit, make them a little bit sweeter. And it's just a really nice dish. Greens, add as many as you want. Fiber, fiber, fiber. And again, like I said, you've got high blood, uh, high blood pressure. Arugula is great for lowering that. Nice natural stir. These are about ready to go. We're ready to plate. Less than 10 minutes from pan to table. Healthy, nutritious, high fiber, low fat, major protein, great post-workout meal.
and peace. We are pretty much done here. Slide that fish right out. And there's your 10 minute meal. Just get the camera over the top a little bit more so we can get a better picture of it. Very nutritious, healthy. You're going to find it has great taste. My name is Mike Sipion, Sano Chef. You could find more healthy recipes on my website, and you could actually download my healthy recipe app from there. It's called The Big Sexy on iTunes. Just click it and bring you to download. Tons of healthy recipes, smoothies. For now, I'm out of here. Have a great day.